Welcome to our Innovatology episode, where innovation meets technology and where the future is demystified. I am Marie, the founder of Marie Olivier LTD, and I am empowering my clients in bridging IT and the business. And I'm Cedric, a digital transformation program lead at AB InBev, the biggest beverage company in the world. But together, we are Innovatology, a platform dedicated to decode the complexities of the latest tech and innovations just for you. Yay! So our journey began that we discovered that there is a gap for providing a platform not only for the experts in innovation and technology, but also for the wider public where actually we can decode all of the innovations and technology for you. It started in biohacking summits in Amsterdam to, for example, Las Vegas CES. And now we're here to share that passion with you. Whether you're looking to stay ahead of the curve in your career, or you're just curious about the next big thing in the digital world, this is the place to be. Why to listen to us? Have you ever wondered and were confused about how to actually use artificial intelligence and other technologies and buzzwords that actually are running around us? Well, then the Innovatology is exactly for you, where you can learn how to utilize it and integrate it immediately in practice in your professional and personal life. Everywhere in Las Vegas you are traveling by car, by Lyft, by Uber, because it's impossible to travel any other ways. And here we are in the convention center of uh, Las Vegas of CES. Everywhere around you is walking tech, also on the walls, uh, the history of the technology of innovation, the future era, the digital era. You walk really the history of uh, the evolution of the humankind. And here we are at the beginning of the CS. It starts at 10 a.m. and we are just waiting for the queue and it's like starting uh, the New Year's Eve when you are counting. So here we go, you see that there is a big hype and everybody is really excited for the new technology and new innovation and as the first there is welcoming LG with huge transparent screen. Wow, look at these colors. First let's stop at this beautiful robot. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. Who's controlling you? Currently it's a human controlled robot. Uh, I have an AI version, but the internet here is not good enough for it. And where, where is the human that is controlling you? It's uh, somewhere behind there. Ah. Oh, yeah. One thing that is very cool about the CS and other technological conferences is that there are so many keynotes and you actually can do just the keynote speakers and uh, discussion tables and round tables etc. But uh, we wanted to also see the exhibition but in this sense we couldn't miss a speaker but Gelsinger, CEO of Intel. Second is the laws of physics. If I have to round trip the data to the cloud and back, okay, it's not gonna be as responsive as I can do locally. And the third is the laws of the land. Because am I gonna take my data to the cloud or am I gonna keep it on my local device? Am I gonna take my real time factory data, my supply chain data, you know, my local camera data to the cloud or not? And a lot of that's gonna be regulated some fashion or another, or I as the user say, I'm not comfortable right, with that data going to the cloud. So I think those three laws, laws of economics, laws of physics, and the laws of the land will drive more of these AI use cases to the devices that we use uh, across the edge. in Paris where they showed us like with the meta glasses you can go into virtual meetings. Oh. For me first it's more about getting connected in, in, in meetings 
in the virtual space rather than like using Zoom because it, it, it adds an, an, a different layer to meeting people across the world. Yeah. And then maybe gaming. <laughs> but, but primarily, I think like we're on the meeting and culture because I, I think we work globally these days and it's sort of nice to still have like the physical, not the physical, but like the, the face to face interaction. That's a little. Not none of, none of this that we're showing is, is a gap word, it's a thing. So we're not, uh, none, of, none of these demos would be able to show that off very well. But we do software across a bunch of different ones. In VR is it's just one. I think uh, in VR things like uh, anime is if you've heard of that, if you've heard of uh, uh, MetaHuman. We're integrated into all those, so you can use our hand tracking to add it's just a button, gesture out, yeah. add hands to you know existing and topics. Um, a huge percentage of the V2 community uh, uses our device and then mounts it like on their on their chest so they can see what their hands are doing so they can interact with their con with their with their followers. Um, in a VR, in, in like a one-to-one -one meeting experience, yeah. uh, like we also are able to, I mean, I think it is called anime, uh, where you have like your own avatar. It could be your person, it could also be Jack, whatever you want, it's going to be a doll. <laughs> uh, but we integrate with that so that you can have all of your hands, uh, you know, adding not just to your like facial expression, but also to, you know, what you're seeing uh, on the other side of that screen. Yeah. Um, from a XR VR experience itself, we also have this device over here. Follow me in. Yes, my name is Ali. Click that link button. I go. I have to stop links. Uh, and we have worked with them to kind of build our hand tracking into the into the headset itself. Now this one is integrated, it's not an accessory. It is exactly. Um, and something that is really powerful about this headset is, the, and, and again, we don't have any of our network, uh, networks yeah, solved here today, uh, but you can do something called um, like remote assistance. So if you are not just for kind of like the one-to-one -one personal help, if you're a person who is, you know, working on a, a truck that's broken down, you can put this on and feed back your hand information to somebody else, maybe an expert who's sitting at their oh, central office yeah. to give you very specific feedback about how best uh, to fix it. Fix it. Absolutely. So that's a bit more of like a, you know, enterprise type of thing. It's much less community oriented that you're you're mentioning. I think I saw this also in a medical purposes that, uh, for example, then uh, like uh, you would need to provide, uh, provide medical assistance that like uh, then like you can take uh, the VR and you will actually see on the person how to actually help. I exactly. Here, I, if, if you'd like um, for me to, to put you in this, it's actually Nikhil, I already did my glasses on. You can wear it with your glasses on. Oh, you guys pray. And what's cool is we can keep having a conversation because it, Oh, that helps me with all the other ones. So, oh, yes, okay. guys, like six. How's that? Are you able to, to see it all right? Is it? Yeah, I see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's cool about this? This I like. So if you pinch and you can throw. This is a very silly demo. <laughs> 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 but this is like, <laughs> it's like the paper planes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, in fact, this skip this guilty. But so, for example, you're sitting there with that headset on. You'd be able to put it on, start working on something, and then somebody else can see what you're seeing, see what you're doing, and then give you instruction on top of that, um, which is a really serious value for people who don't necessarily want to have their expert go to every every topic on that site that's going on. And how come I can see? Because like basically, I see my own hands. I see you. Yeah. yeah. Like it doesn't. Put you in like a virtual space, or like how, how how does this actually work? So that's taking two videos from two cameras that are sitting right. They're RGBs on the other side. It's feeding that video directly to your eyes at 90 hertz. So it's pretty much, you know, yeah, it's, it's you're looking at a screen. That screen is still presenting the world around you. Really, uh, yeah. So this is why it feels natural. It's why it feels like yeah. that conversation. Ah, uh, yeah. But you can also go into like a real virtual space, or it's only from the. the you could. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna hit a button too, and there's a screen should pop up. Uh, you want to hit quick? You can just see your hands. So this is see. Yeah, press through it a little bit. You'll see. Uh, you'll yeah. see that change. You like it, then it starts loading. Yeah, it takes, it takes a little bit to get used to at the beginning. Um, if you want to, okay, have it. Yeah, the body of the heart's pretty cool. That's another. That's another thing on. Uh, if you want to look at planetary, that's one where the education you see your hands. Uh, there's planetarium, then there's planetarium education. Uh, it's it's like the, the, the normal planetarium. What's I would recommend if you, if you don't want to take a tick test. How do I go up there? I'll let it do you. Yep, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you're on the thing that's good for you. Oh, you're good. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Actually, just walk this way. Everyone just move and, and take it and then walk with me towards my place or I'll like it in anything. So then you can go deep between. Or you can see the get around and like, yeah. So if you turn around, you'll be able to see like the entire universe. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. No worries, no worries. Wow, okay. I'll, I'll just put them in. Bye bye, thanks for being here. So that's the. So, what you're talking about, kind of that full immersion, full at first. This, yeah, it's cool that you can also step out of it again. Exactly. And that's the power of uh, what we like to call mixed reality, where it's a mixture of being in the experience and also kind of being We have like two two hats on, like one is more corporate for me and one is, let's say, the where we try to do the translation. But for this type of technology is equally interesting, I think, for, for either, because I, at some point I do think the AR, VR will play a role in the logistics planning area as well, like... Because people talk a lot about these control towers, you know, where, yeah. where you really start seeing the real-life data and taking actions based on that data. Yeah. When you look at the, the cool videos that they make, AR or VR is playing a role in that, so I'm very curious how that will evolve Absolutely. in the future. There's, especially to where you mentioned, uh, when you really talked about how do you communicate things, uh, a lot of people like this headset because well, it's not super immersive. Like it's not a huge jump. So if you put a full V fix out, you don't feel all V dissonant. Exactly. So people do get dissonant. And so this tries to solve that problem because you can see everything. Yeah. Right. So I like it that uh, there can be like a user, for example, when you are in the meeting room with the people and you want to like actually like uh, tell them some kind of like imagination or creativity that you. But then you can also jump like outside and be with them uh, still in the meeting room, but give them like a, because I'm more like visual design person. So like, Absolutely. Uh, really like help me to visualize for the clients, for example, what I have in mind. Yeah. And like jumping and the, back. the big difference is this one is you can still see like the outside world in case like someone would come and ask for your attention, like, okay, I take it out. Cause like with the meta one, I think you just, Fully immersed, and you're like closed off. You pop into people. <laughs> <laughs> so the, yeah, another thing that's fun to fun to note is because it's using two cameras, it is really accurate at giving you depth. A lot of headsets that try to do this kind of pastor use one camera, ah. and then they'll do a lot of really funky software to try to create this fake parallax. Um, where that doesn't happen here. It's just giving you the so you're able to reach out and you know that that's the <laughs> image. All right, that's very cool. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for checking this out. And I, um, so we have better hand tracking than Meta. It's faster, it's more accurate, and it's um, we initialize quicker than Meta. Meta uses RGB as well. Uh, we use IR, so we work in all different uh, lighting conditions. IR being infrared, right? And then uh, Meta RGB is a red, green, blue, uh, the normal coloring sequence. Exactly. Yeah. So when little bit like us, when people use our technology, they're getting better hand tracking across the board. So people will use a Meta headset but then run our tracking software on the headset and then take one of those those devices and put it on the car. Ah, so you, that one you can put on, on a Meta or you cannot because like that? Yeah. Ah, you can. Yeah, so uh, for a while we, we they locked down their system because I think that's the yeah, Meta reasons about it, this kind of stuff. The, well, <laughs> work on Oh, uh, you do work on, on MetaQuest, uh, MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest 3. And this is my big question because actually I heard that uh, you don't cooperate with Meta, which I would say in the future that I need a big gap because also like uh, in a working environment that somebody use Meta, somebody you are, uh, uh, your headset, etc. And then there might be the gap like the Absolutely. The connections. There's, there's the aspect as well that if you want to build an experience with hand tracking and you don't want to use a Meta headset, because but you can want to jump between the two. By using our software, you're able to use the best Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what are they doing? I got the electric fan. <laughs> or you can do the audio thing. The, if you just play the YouTube video, our 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 software convert audio into happens in real time, and you can also sort of just like an equalizer, you can also frequency just like that. Something enough. <laughs> all yours. Gangnam style. It makes you move? I mean, you see me moving? Yeah. It's because of that? I had to dodge. 2000. 2500. <laughs> I have to say that the reality was more funny than uh, the virtual one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Good job. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this Innovatology episode. Your feedback not only inspire us, but also empowers our Innovatology community. So remember to follow us on our Innovatology channels because we've got plenty more insights, stories and guests lined up for you in the future. So hit that button follow and you will not miss any of the future episodes. This is Cedric. And Marie. Your guides on the journey of innovation and technology. Yay!